Hello everybody! Do you want to know how to create virtual backgrounds under OBS Studio? Or maybe you don't know how to start to create a beautiful, awesome, professional looking background under OBS? Then this is definitely the video for you to watch. Hey, thank you very much for watching another brand new video here. And in this episode, I want to share with you how to create virtual backgrounds under OBS Studio. If you like videos like this one, or you want to know and learn more about how to use OBS Studios to create this awesome recording videos or streaming for on your channel, consider subscribing to my channel and I also leave the link here below. So let's dive in immediately how to create those beautiful, awesome virtual backgrounds. As you can see here, we are already under the dashboard under OBS Studio. And to create a virtual background isn't actually that difficult, but you really have to understand actually by itself how OBS Studio works. So if you're brand new to about how to use OBS Studio, consider to watch this video, what I put the link here just above, to start there to have an idea and understanding how OBS Studio works and how it can help you in creating that awesome, beautiful streams or recordings to for your channel for your videos as you can see here i'm already created a little bit of preparation for this uh, recording purposes and as you can see here on the left side here we have a couple of scenes here and as you can see these scenes that i have here i created especially for this video actually itself so you already have uh, a little bit an idea of behind the scenes of about how I use OBS Studio to create my own recordings on my channel. So to create a virtual background, as you can see here, and that is quite funny actually, because at the moment I'm already using a kind of a virtual background myself. As you can see here, here my pretty face here, and with a background, it's transparent. And what we're gonna to do is actually to put it quite simple, is we're gonna put a background behind us and in front you're gonna put yourself on a recording so people know who you are they can see you and this background could be literally anything you want you can make it as crazy or creative as you want yourself but how to do that that's a different story and that's where we're here for um, if I put my face here and as you can see here I have an image or a thumbnail what I use also for this video as a background and in front I put myself what my what my webcam is uh, showing to me right now but to create that virtual background actually what you do it's quite simple um, if I go here to a scene I've outro two, and we go to the main one um, there's something not going well but that's okay it doesn't matter because we are all here learning to create a virtual background what we do is actually what we have here if you just choose your uh, choose your uh, image in this case I'm gonna choose this one and in this case I choose an image or my thumbnail in this case but as you can see here um, to create that virtual background you can just but how to start is as followed on the sources what it means with sources is that you want to choose the source that you want to use to create that particular virtual background so that source could be a video, could be a picture, could be maybe an audio file, I don't know how, but usually it's gonna be a video or a picture. Well, in this case, I want to show you briefly how you can make both of them. The first one is one you're gonna choose. First one, you're gonna choose an image and an image that I already chose here on the sources, you choose your, let's go back. On the sources, you're gonna choose your image and an image you're gonna say on okay how do you want to name this particular image so in this gonna test give the image you call image example and then you're gonna press okay and then it will ask you so what kind of image do you want to use for this one particular image file or source well i'm gonna choose just one that i already have prepared here i go to my pictures and let's see and let's say I want to use this picture as a background. So when I do that, you will see here that already the background or the image is at the front, but we want to use this image for the background. So what we're gonna do is, one moment, I'm gonna have here. Here you will see me back again. 
and as you can see here is okay what's happening ah, there i am as you can see here is that i already using this image and i put my webcam here at the front to use it as the webcam itself and this is the way how to use an image as a virtual background but the next step is maybe you decided instead of a normal boring image you say well, i want to use a video as a background well i would suggest to you or an advice so you don't use a, a background like a beach or something like that especially if you want to educate people it depends on the kind of content you want to create if you're making content about everything about travel etc please be my guest and make a beautiful picture or a video background from you walking or strolling down a hotel or walking on the beach that's perfectly fine while you're telling your travel story but in this case i'm telling you about teaching you about how to use obs studio and to be exact how to create a virtual background for you well in this case i choose an image and the next step is when instead of an image i want to use a video well you go to sources again and that on the sources you're going to choose a media source i'm not going to click on it because i already created a media source but if you click on it what you get is it will uh, a pop-up menu will show up and it will ask to you okay what kind of video do you want to use as a background and in this case i already made a, uh, a media source and i already give it a name and the name in this case in my case is the thumbnail video and as you can see here it's not active yet and uh, let me share it there and i'm doing the right thing no i'm not so i'm gonna choose a media source and the media source i'm gonna give that the name video background and once again i already created a media source earlier before the recording of this video and i'm gonna name that source you can name it in you can use any name you want so it's easy for you to understand so okay if you create a certain source a media source or an image source or a video source or maybe your browser or a particular window on your uh, pc or system you're gonna name it accordingly that is for you easy to recognize what kind of media or what kind of source you're using so even the webcam that i'm looking at that's actually also a source in this case when you add a webcam to your obs studio it will ask okay what what kind of name do you want to give the media source or in this case the capture video device what do you want to call it you can call it a Canon uh, webcam, uh, and a uh, Nikon camera, it depends what kind of camera you have, but in my case I just simply give it the name webcam, because I only have one web camera here on my desktop. So in this case I'm gonna choose thumbnail video, and I name that uh, video, um, video background. When I choose that I press OK, and as you can see here is, OK, there is my face again, uh, let's put it at the front, there I am. As you can see, I already have a video background and that's particularly it about how to create that virtual background by using a video as a virtual background. But with videos, it's a little bit more work about it because if you're using a virtual back video as a virtual background, you want to make sure that you select a video that the beginning and the end of the video is similar with each other. The reason why I say that is because you want to use a video that you want to use it in a loop. So because if you don't use it in a loop, what happens is OBS will play your video just once and after that it will do nothing. So you get a black screen. So to continue to have that video loop, so what you have to do is you go to your video background and you go to properties and in that here you have option to, you have to select the loop. When you do that, it will continue to play over and over again your video that you want to use as a background. And just press OK. And there are other things that you can do under the properties of your video background. Uh, I would suggest just to play around with it and see what works for you. And maybe you will be creative and things that you're using for your brand or your business that suits the most for you. So I think that's it for this video. I know it's not too long because I really appreciate your time. So I want to thank you all for coming here to this channel as well. Don't forget to subscribe as well to stay updated about the latest uh, 
tutorials that I want to share with you here on my channel on Sander TV. Thank you very much. Give me a thumbs up if you have learned something from this video as well. And for your convenience, um, you can choose from a couple of videos here that I tell and share more about how you can use OBS Studio to be better at it, to get familiar with it, and to know how everything works. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon in my next video.